It has been a decade since the body of a young girl was found in Alabama. And now new DNA evidence is possibly linking this mystery girl to parts of Hampton Roads or Northeast North Carolina. Ted on your side, Amy Avery has the plea for information to bring the murderer to justice. Amy? Well, Tom and Lena, it's been more than 10 years since this little girl was found, and she still does not have a name. Investigators say the Opelika Jane Doe case means a lot to them, and they won't stop until her killer is brought to justice. At the bottom of our heart, we just want to know who, who she is. A gut-wrenching case that has stuck with investigators for more than 10 years now. We're not going to leave any stone unturned. Opelika Jane Doe was found on January 28, 2012 in a swampy area behind a trailer park. The autopsy shows she suffered physical abuse prior to her death and investigators believe she might have been blind in one eye. Forensic artists believe this is what she looked like prior to her death and still no one recognizes her. We've looked at school records, birth records, and came up with nothing. Opelika Police Captain Jonathan Clifton says they've received tips from all over the country. Now they're zoning in on southeastern Virginia and northeastern North Carolina, specifically Chesapeake, Norfolk, and Northampton. We actually did an isotope testing on her bones, and that gave us an idea that she was raised in the South. Other DNA has really helped us out a lot, uh, trying to narrow down. Uh, possible family members. Captain Clifton says this case is like a black cloud over the community. They believe Jane Doe was between four and seven years old when her remains were found, meaning she would be a teenager now. This child's around my kid's age now, if she was alive. So it's real personal to me. Captain Clifton says this case will never be solved without the public's help. So they hope someone here recognizes her. We are her parents as of right now, and we want to know who her parents are and and hold whoever it is accountable. Now, investigators did find some old Sunday school photos as well that they believe could be the little girl, and I'll have more on that part of the story coming up at 6. In the meantime, if you do recognize her, you can call 1-800-THE-LOST or the Opelika Police Department. Amy Avery, 10 on your side.